Hello everybody, today I'm going to tell you about the seven worst things about living in Flagstaff and the reason I'm doing this, I have a lot of people that I talk to and they say, wow, I really love Flagstaff, it's so beautiful and there's so much nature, but there are a couple of bad things that I really worry about. So today I'm going to pick out the seven worst things about living in Flagstaff and I'm going to detail them for you here in this video. <laughs> teach you everything there is to know about living in the northern half of the state. My name is Dawn Dickinson. I live in beautiful Sedona, Arizona, but I sell real estate in Sedona, Verde Valley, Flagstaff, and Prescott. If you have a real estate question, please do me a favor and go to the description below and get my contact information. Give me a call, text, email, or just go to the website and schedule a 30-minute Zoom call or phone call and we can talk about real estate because that's what I love to do. If you like the video, please do me a favor and hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and notification bell and come back again because I shoot videos here every single week about living in Northern Arizona. Okay, let's get started with the seven worst things about living in Flagstaff. Number one, of course, is it gets very cold in the wintertime. In fact, right now it's 27 degrees outside and it's not even Thanksgiving. So it does get very cold in the months of January and December, say. The average nighttime low is 14 degrees and the daytime high will be 43 degrees. Now that doesn't mean it doesn't get colder. In fact, there are times when there's a clear night with no clouds in December, January, where it could get below freezing and that's very, very cold. Also, you could get snow. There are an average of 81 inches of snow that fall on the ground every single year in Flagstaff. So if you're afraid of the cold and the snow, Flagstaff is probably not the place for you. Now, also with the cold and the snow, snow comes, you know, ice on the road. I remember one year when I was living in Flagstaff, I had my big old Chevy Blazer thinking, yeah, I've got four wheel drive. I'm safe on the slippery roads. And my uh, truck hit some black ice. I went skinny. I actually did one of these complete turnaround 180s and I stopped in the road and I'm like, whew, I didn't hit anything. But then two seconds later, bam, I got hit in the back by another car. It was actually a car. That car had to be towed away and my big old blazer did not have any damage, but that's what happens to the roads. Now, ironically, that big old Chevy blazer, when I left, graduated NAU and moved to Tempe to take a job at Intel, that truck was stolen about 30 days after I left Flagstaff. So uh, that's sad. The theft in Flagstaff is not nearly as bad as in Phoenix or Tucson, but uh, the road conditions traveling in the winter time can be tough. Uh, ice and snow, and it does snow, and it does get very cold. So if you're not liking the cold very much, definitely Flagstaff has cold weather, and that's probably my number one reason, uh, worst reasons to live in Flagstaff, Arizona. So number two is the high elevation. Flagstaff is a mountain town, averages about 7,000 foot above sea level elevation. And for people that have breathing problems or maybe people that are a little bit older, that elevation can be a problem for them. Sometimes you just uh, wheeze and have a hard time catching your breath. Some people have like just they say high altitude sickness. You know, it's not that high to have high altitude sickness, but I've had friends come up and they've been out of breath the entire weekend. Now, when you live here, you do get adjusted to it and you don't seem to notice it, but a lot of people do have trouble with the high altitude and the thin air and they have breathing problems and they say they can't live in Flagstaff before the, because of that. So if uh, altitude bothers you, Flagstaff at about 7,000 foot above sea level could be an issue. So number three, Flagstaff is actually a pretty expensive place to live. A lot of people don't realize that. I know certainly when I moved up there to go to NAU, I was not expecting rent prices to be so much higher than Phoenix. Cost of living index is 118.7, which means on average it's 18 to 19% higher than the average American town. And right now, home prices, the median home price in Flagstaff is just shy of $500,000. It's like $499,500. So very high median home price compared to other parts of the country and cost of living is high. I remember groceries being high, gas not horribly high, 
but uh, a lot of things that you'll buy are expensive, but uh, housing is one of them. Housing and rent prices are high in Flagstaff, which puts your cost of living high. So number three is that Flagstaff is an expensive place for you to live. Number three on my worst reasons to live in Flagstaff list. Number four is that Flagstaff is a college town. Now, I love college towns. I actually went to Northern Arizona University and graduated with my MBA in the mid-1990s. But some people don't like the college town atmosphere because there are a lot of young people. There are a lot of a transient feeling because people come and they stay for four years and they go. Uh, so college town is my number four reason of worst places to live in Flagstaff. Of course, that could be a good place for you. I loved the fact that I could go live in Flagstaff when I was in college even though it was my graduate degree so I was only there for two years as a student but it was a wonderful experience and not that many opportunities to live there because of employment now back in the 90s this was true not as true today because people are able to work from home but in the 90s it was difficult to get jobs in Flagstaff if you weren't one of the common industries working for the university working for Gore say but Flagstaff being a college town does turn some people off and so it could be a good reason to live in Flagstaff but on some people it's going to be on one of the top seven worst reasons to live in Flagstaff. Northern Arizona it's a college town. Okay, number five is there are a lot of tourists that come through Flagstaff in the summertime. It's beautiful because you get the beautiful pine trees and there are a lot of hiking and camping and bike riding and you can go out to Lake Mary and go boating so you got a lot of the summer activities that attract tourists in the summertime and in the wintertime it's a ski town there's a beautiful ski resort there's actually a couple of ski resorts there's the snowball downhill ski resort and then there's the Nordic Center which has the cross-country skiing and then the snowshoe trekking you could rent there so ski town and beautiful activities attract a lot of tourists and you don't like living in a tourist town that that could be one of the seven worst reasons for you to live in Flagstaff. Okay, number six, outdoor living. Now, outdoor living actually is what attracts a lot of people to Flagstaff. And if you're not into the outdoors, that could be one of the worst reasons to live in Flagstaff because if you're like a person that likes to go to the theater or likes to do indoor type activities, not that's not what Flagstaff is known for. And you'll be looking out your window and you'll see your neighbors packing up their, their quads or they're packing up their mountain bikes or they're getting their skis loaded on the top of the car because so many people come to Flagstaff and live in Flagstaff because of all the outdoor activities that are available and if you're just not into outdoor outdoor stuff you won't like it so um, outdoor activities could be the worst reason to live in Flagstaff if you're just not an outdoor type of a person. So reason number seven is forest fires and flooding. Now up until about a couple of years ago, people didn't really think about this as being that high of a threat in Flagstaff, but 2022 and even 2021 were very bad years for forest fires. So back in April, we had a terrible forest fire and that was caused by somebody who was illegally living in the woods and he decided to burn toilet paper. I don't know what he was thinking. Maybe burning the toilet paper would not make it obvious that he was living here, but he burned toilet paper in the spring, which is the windiest time of the year in one of the most windy areas of Flagstaff. And it was extra windy that year and it caught on very rapidly and was what the fire fires call a career fire which means it's fire that is probably so bad that the firefighting community would only encounter it once in their career and we had that fire and another fire we lost maybe 30 homes to that fire in 2022 and then of course after the fire now the there's a burn scar which means when it rains the water doesn't absorb into the ground because of the fire and then you have flooding so 2022 had a terrible year of fires and then flooding and we had a lot of homes get destroyed we had 30 lost in the fire and more homes lost in flooding now this has been happening in a certain area of town 
but again, it's a risk that you probably wouldn't have in some place like Phoenix or Tucson that you could be encountering a forest fire. And uh, that is a, a terrible thing about living in Flagstaff that you might not encounter someplace else. So let me give you a little more information about the fires because people ask me that, what is the risk? And it's very difficult to determine the risk because you'll go years without a fire and then suddenly like the last two years in a row, you'll have terrible fires. So in a typical year, Coconino County will encounter maybe 175 fires. Now Coconino County is not just Flagstaff, it is a huge county spread out geographically, one of the largest counties in Arizona. Typically there might be 175 fires in a year, but almost all of them will be put out before it erupts into an actual fire. And we have the Mormon Lake, the Blue Ridge and Flagstaff hotshots, which are firefighting communities and they are actually on top of it. They do many things to try to conserve or to reduce the risk of fires. We have the city council I see putting articles out and things they are doing to prevent fires. Uh, one is to do the controlled burns, others to educate the public, educate the community. Probably the worst risk is um, not Flagstaff residents doing things that are risky but people coming in that are either tourists or you know, homeless people camping in the woods that may increase the danger of having fires. But uh, it's hard for me to predict what are my odds of losing a house. I would say they probably are very low, that the odds of you losing a house in a forest fire, but that risk is there. The risk also of the flood being there because we had them in 2021, 2022. So that will top off my list of the seven worst things about living in Flagstaff. So that's it. My name's Dawn Dickinson, the channel Living in Northern Arizona. Please subscribe if you like the video, hit the like button, the notification bell because what that does is lets other people who are looking for this type of content to find the channel and to find the video. My name is Dawn Dickinson and I sell real estate in Northern Arizona, Sedona, Flagstaff, Verde Valley, and Prescott. If you ever have a question about real estate, go ahead and give me a call, text, email, or just go to the website and schedule some type of a Zoom or a phone call and I'll be happy to answer all your questions. Some people just call me because they have questions about the answer, the area, and they're not sure if they're going to like it. And other people call because they're ready to move and they want me to help them buy a home. So I love when that happens. Um, I hope you come back. I hope you enjoy the video and I hope to see you back here again next week.